Good evening everybody and welcome to our Sunday night time together. I'd like us tonight to concentrate on four seasons of life, babyhood, childhood, adolescence and adulthood. There are four seasons of life. I'm going to share some words and I just ask you to be uh, quiet where you are in your own home, to close your eyes and to maybe picture each of these stages and what they mean to you. So if you'd like to close your eyes, then I'll say these words. There's scripture, there's prayer, there's meditation. But the most important thing is that you rest in these words and just see what pictures come to mind. I'm a firm believer that the Lord gives us pictures. So maybe there'll be a picture for you tonight. So we just breathe in God's presence and we thank him for his grace and his mercy. And we think about babies and babyhood. Lord, you created every part of me. You put me together in my mother's womb. When my bones were being formed, when I was growing there in secret, you knew I was there. You saw me before I was born. Before I was born, you pictured my face. When I moved from the womb into the world, your spirit cradled me. You made sense of my wordless language and you held my hand till I slept, till I walked, till I lost my fear, till I was old enough to let your hand go. And in the quiet of this night, we pray for those being born into this world. We pray for those unborn babies being carried. And we pray for families and family life. And we move from babyhood to childhood. We will not keep back from our children. We will tell the next generation. We will tell them about the Lord's power and his great deeds and the wonderful things God has done. God instructed our ancestors to teach his laws to their children so that the next generation might learn from them and in turn should tell their children. And we think of when we were children. When I was a child, you were there for me. When I broke my heart or bruised my skin, you cared for me. When I was keen to learn, you taught me. You watched my eyes bulge with the wonder of the world. You heard me repeat words. Sometimes you stopped me from doing what I wanted. And even today, I am restrained and enriched by what you did then. And so we think of the children of this world tonight maybe children in our families or our church family. We think of children worldwide, many facing such difficulty and hardship.
and then we move into adolescence. Teach me your ways, O Lord, make them known to me. Teach me to live according to your truth, for you are my God who saves me. I always trust in you. Remember, O Lord, your kindness and constant love, which you've shown from long ago. Forgive the sins and errors of my youth. In your constant love and goodness, remember me. We think about our teenage lives. When I left childhood, you were there for me. When I was silent with my parents. When I felt awkward. And when you gave me good advice, I remember the times I ignored it. When you gave me liberty, the times I abused it. And though you spoke so often, sometimes I just did not want to listen or know. You held me through the difficult years and I reap the benefit now. And so we pray for teenagers throughout the world. We think of their hopes and aspirations and dreams. We wonder what adulthood will be like for them. And we pray for them. And our final season, adulthood. You, Lord, have taught me ever since I was young. Now that I am older and my hair is grey, do not abandon me. Your righteousness, O God, reaches the skies. You have done great things. There is no one like you. You will restore my strength. You will keep me from the grave. You will make me greater than ever. And you will comfort me again. Since I have become the adult I long to be, you've been there. When I've had to cope with failure, I have been accepted. When I have doubted my abilities, you have encouraged. When I've met with some success, you've smiled and kept on encouraging. When my faith has run low, Father God, you've been there holding it all together. And so we entrust our adulthood, our lives, to God the Father. We thank you, Lord, for Moses and Miriam, for Sarah and Abraham, for Peter and Martha, for Mary and Paul and for all the other people in the scriptures whose lives we learn from. And we thank you for your other saints, the ones perhaps known only to us, the ones that never made the headlines, but whose faith and love and trust and commitment have made headline news in heaven. We thank you for the great cloud of witnesses, for those mothers and fathers, those brothers and sisters in God. May we honour their influence by following Jesus. 
the same Jesus whose footsteps they followed. And we think of those who spoke into our lives when we were tiny, when we were crawling, when we were toddling, when we were skipping and kicking balls, when we were teenagers and perhaps sullen and bitter. And for those who speak into our lives even today, Father, bless us this night. Amen. <laughs>